Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is a map? Map function. Map. Map is used to do like uh, <coughs> go through the list and something and for What's searching that? purpose mainly for What's searching and I don't know like much deeper about maps but I think it's used to like in uh, for searching in, in the list and array. Uh, so collection, okay? Collection, yes. array, object. So it uh, for uh, collection means what? It is a collection of, for example, let me create one array. Okay. So how many elements are there in this array right now? Three. Three. Three elements. Okay. So if I apply any operation over this array, hmm. if I apply any operation over this array, what will happen? That operation will be applicable to all the individual elements of the array. Okay. So the operation will be applicable over the all the elements. That is called a map concept. Okay. For example, if I want to add some, uh, for example, let me take another example. Concept names. Array of names, right? Yes okay. or no? Array of yes. names. Yes. Uh, Alan. Okay. So I want these names to be printed in uh, capital letters. Okay. So capitalizing is the operation, right? Yeah. And it is a collection or it is a set of uh, array elements, right? Yes. So we can apply, we can apply for all the elements, we can apply the operation of okay. capitalizing it okay so how we are about to do we will check that okay so after applying map operation over an array what will happen is that it will create a new array that array will hold the capitalized words names okay you will get that yes. you will get that Yes. So that is the purpose of this map function. So let me uh, take a new array equal to. So beforehand we need uh, initializations. So for that const arr equal to. I am going to have uh, Sneha again. See, carefully see names. What is names here? Uh, names is an array. Yeah. Okay. Dot. So hmm. what are all the operations available for over this that can be applicable over this array? Over. We can push some other uh, string inside this array. Okay. That is map, right? Okay. okay. So I am taking map. Okay. So while calling the map function, what is given here map is a function which will accept three arguments okay? Okay. okay and map is a method which calls another function another mm -hmm. function and it will be applicable over each element in the array that is okay. the very very important point mm -hmm. and after using this map function what mm -hmm. it will be creating it will create it will return an array which mm -hmm. will contain the results meaning it will create a new array for you so right now the new array will hold the hold the results of map operation. Okay. You all understand this? Yes. Okay. See here, callback function, arrow function. What is arrow function? Arrow function is a shorthand notation of uh, oh, calling a function. Okay. It may be called as anonymous functions also. Okay, it will be uh, very 
faster in execution. That's why people are preferring arrow functions. Okay. And this arrow function is introduced with the JavaScript in the year 2015. I mean, uh, EC6. EC6 mm. standard is holding this map concept with the arrow functions. Okay. Okay. Fine. So right now, you should understand map function or filter function or uh, uh, reduce method the, that can be applied over a particular array or collection or list of elements. Is that clear? Yes. Is that point understood? Okay. So now, we have to point each and every element, you know. I should point to Sneha for the first time. Second, In the second iteration, I should point to Vinayak. In the third iteration, I should point to Alan, right? So for that, I'm going to have some temporary value. Fine? So let me call that as uh, uh, I. Okay? I such that I such that you all follow me? Yeah. Return yes. I dot. So right now I is pointing to what? I is pointing to each and every element. Okay? Clear? Okay. To uppercase method. Uh, yeah. Like I is like uh, parameter or something. Like, iterating. Oh. Iterating over the... No, no. Here I is a value. Value. Like Why index parameter. or something? It, it is pointing to Sneha for the first iteration. During the first iteration, it is pointing to Vinayak uh, during the second iteration. It is pointing to Alan during the third iteration. So it's like a loop. It's like a loop. Uh, looping will be handled out automatically. Okay. It is a uh, internal iterate. Iteration is there. So internal uh, iteration to, is there. We have to write I, not uh, I, any other letters or something. Any other letters. Any other letters. Okay. okay. Any letters. But thing is, if you use uh, E over there, and you should have E over here also. Understood? Okay. Okay. So it's so just for like iteration purposes. Iteration along with some operations. Okay. Operations over in, in each and every individual elements of an array, each and every individual element of a collection, object, list. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.